Hello, it is a new vlog, obviously. It's Saturday the 14th, it's around 6 p.m. right now. Um, I've been working all day and I did not wear makeup, so this is why I look like this. Um, I just wanted to pop on and introduce the vlog. I got my Beauty Bay package finally yesterday. Um, so I got the Beauty Bay Wilderness Palette and I was just filming my swatches. It's a little bit of stainage on my arm still. Um, it looks like this. It's so pretty. I think I'm going to film with it tomorrow and I'm so excited. So my video with this will already be up, but look how gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. The shimmers are so textury and glistening and special. And these mattes are very saturated. So I'm really excited to see how they perform. I've never tried Beauty Bay's um, formulas before. I just dipped my finger in there. And then I also threw two other things in my cart so I could get free shipping. One of them is a palette that I've been wanting for a very long time and kept talking myself out of it. And since it was on Beauty Bay's site, I figured it's meant to be. I finally got the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette. I've been wanting this sucker forever. I film swatches for this as well. Um, it's so pretty. And also the shimmers feel so good. The mattes are just so pretty. I love these colors. And it's such a like little palette. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's not small per se, but it is just very, I don't know. It's compact and little. I like it. And I also threw in this, which like it was on my radar, but I didn't end up buying it. And I probably could have lived without it. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. Maybe I can't live without it. Um, but this wasn't a need by any means, but I just threw it in to hit free shipping. Um, also from BH Cosmetics, it's the Aspen Highlight Palette. Looks like this. It's very cute. I do like me a colorful highlight and I thought I might get some good use out of this. I haven't swatched this yet actually, so maybe we can do that right now. Let's see, Frosted AF, Bunny Slope, Snow Angel. Ooh, very cute. Ooh, very shiny. Ooh, these are really pretty. Let's do the other three. Iced Out, Frostbite, Chill Zone. Oh my gosh, look how duochrome this is. Oh my gosh. I'll definitely be wearing all of these shades soon. Like, I'm going to try them all out. So, oh my gosh. These are so pretty. Maybe I did need this in my life. I take it back. <laughs> and it wasn't that I didn't need it. It was just, like, something small to throw in my cart for free shipping. But wow, I am quite impressed. These are very beautiful. A nice palette of duochrome exciting highlights. Very cool. I'm going to play with those. I also got a package of plugs from Here No Evil Jewelry. Um, they sent me three pairs of plugs, so I will show you those when I get back downstairs. Um, and the handyman came today while I was at work to actually center our TV downstairs. I talked about it in vlogs before, so maybe you've already heard. But the way the studs were set up, it made it to where we couldn't center our TV perfectly center on our living room wall. And there's two little privacy windows, so it was very obvious that it wasn't centered. We discovered it like three months ago, and I told myself, I'll just get used to it. I never got used to it. It made me mad every day. <laughs> it's like the only complaint we have about our house so far. Um, so we hired a handyman to come out here, and he mounted two two-by-fours to the wall. So then we could mount the TV centered to those. And he did a really good job. I was very happy when I came home. Um, I'm going to kind of redo the feng shui of the living room a little bit. Now that that's centered, I feel like I feel like it's a totally different room. It's really not different, but it feels different. I feel like the space feels different. I know that's dramatic, but I'm going to be working on that. We got pictures for our living room wall as well, so we're going to hang those tonight. We got them from Society6. Um, I will show you those once we are hanging them. And we also got some more posters for the loft to go above our loft TV. They're really cute, like Mario posters. I can show you those right now, actually, because we're upstairs. Let's go look. Look at how cute. These like racing posters. We have Wario Stadium, Peach Beach, Koopa Troopa Beach. I almost got my words mixed up. And then Bowser's Castle. And then I don't remember the name offhand, but I will link it down in the description box. But the seller sent me this one for free. I don't know if it was an accident or if it was just to be kind since I already bought four, but now we have Toad's Turnpike also, so we just need to buy a frame for this one. We got these frames just at Walmart, so I'm sure we'll find another one. Um, but they're gonna go on this wall, and I'm actually excited that we have five, because I think the five will fill out this wall really nicely and look really cute. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, and then this room will feel a lot more complete. Yes, ma'am? Yes? Did you want to cuddle? Yeah, you did? 
Look at how cute these plugs are that Hear No Evil Jewelry on Etsy sent me. Oh my gosh, I love him. This jack-o'-lantern's having a party. These death moths are so cute. Thank you, Hear No Evil Jewelry, if you watch this. So here's the TV now, it looks so good. So if you didn't see it before, it was just kicked over a little bit to where it was probably ending halfway to where the gap is now. So it was pretty obvious. I mean, anyone that came over said they didn't notice until I told them because I felt the need to always disclaim it. Um, but yeah, it looks so much better. We already scooted the couch over a little bit just so it's more centered and I'm gonna kind of rearrange all this stuff. I'm gonna move the blanket ladder so that we can have room to put posters. And I think I'm gonna switch the lamps around. And we really don't use this one over here that much. So I might make this one over here and maybe see if Zane wants this in his office. So I don't know, I'm gonna rearrange some things. Got their pictures ready to be hung right there and they're gonna go on this wall. Um, I'm excited. I'm gonna go turn on all the Halloween and do some editing and then I'm gonna make dinner and then we will do all this. TJ Maxx was kind of slim pickings. There was barely anything. We were gonna get like little pumpkin syrups for coffee, but that's all we found that we wanted and the line was really long, so we didn't. The checkout um, was like full. Yeah, but there was literally nothing worth showing you. It's all stuff we've seen before and very slim. But now we're gonna head to Bell's and see if we find anything there. Got lots of kitchen stuff. It's really cute. I don't know if I need any of it, but it's absolutely adorable. It's a lot of things we've seen before, but it's growing. It's growing a lot. Got lots of really cute blankets. We really like the spider web one and this just orange jack-o'-lantern one. They'll look really cute on our blanket ladder that I will show you. The only new thing at Michael's is they finally have their ceramic trees. Scratch that, they have their, some of their tiny treasure stuff. It's cute. And there's these if you want to paint them. You like this big mouth guy? Yeah, he's cute. Ours doesn't have the dollhouse. Oh yeah, it does. Dollhouse is down there. It's a little spooky dollhouse and then you can buy like furniture and stuff. It's really cute. I was thinking about it, but the amount of money it would cost to like fill it and make it look really cute is a lot. So I don't think I will do that. Marshalls does not have much, but they have cute bathroom hand towels. Cozy living room. Eventually this will be a Halloween themed one once they're in stock. We're watching 10 Things I Hate About You. We got the tarot cat prints from Society6. I'll link the artist in the description box. And yes, I do have this on a shirt already. I also wanted it in wall art form. But it looks so good in here. Sunday morning. Spooky breakfast. Do you like your surprise waffles? Mm -hmm. I was sleeping. <laughs> Kanato looks so funny right now. Hey. The gang's all here. You have whipped cream on your beard. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. Okay, so we decided the project today is we still have some leftover black and white striped wallpaper from our bedroom. We want it on this wall. We're gonna get a cute little console table and stuff like that. We might make this a continuation of the coffee bar or it might just be a wall for decorations. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that today on this Sunday. <laughs> so I'm gonna take all these down, especially cause I'm not even sure if I want these here anyway. So it's a good time to move them. Looking pretty good. Now we are gonna get a console table. I just ordered it off Amazon. So it'll be here in a couple days. Um, and then we want to I don't know. We'll figure it out. I have a couple posters in mind off Society6 that I want. Uh, we'll just see how it goes, but I love it. Looks so good. Dollar Tree's got some spooky stuff. It's really cute. Look at these little cauldrons. They have some cute signs and things. Still no black flowers, but they've got cute things. We got those posters hung in the loft. It looks cute. It's looking really good in here. I've already linked all of these other artists in my previous vlogs, um, but I will link this one in the new one, the current one, because I don't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, yeah, it's looking really good. I moved all those plushes there because I thought it looked cuter than having them scattered across that. And eventually I'll decorate this too. In theory, I want to get creepy cloth and put them on these and on this and like decorate with Halloween, but I just don't have enough decorations right now. Um, and we also want to put these plushes on more shelves like these. So we're going to get a couple more to fill in that. 
And then I found some clear ones that are kind of cute that I think we're gonna put here and here and maybe across there to kind of finish off this wall. And I do also want shelves like here and here for more just cute decor, um, but it's looking really good. We're gonna go see Jungle Cruise now. Yep. Looking like a trash bag. <laughs> we'll let you know how it goes. Did you like the movie? Yep. It was pretty cute. It was fun. The characters were likable. The story was good. It had a lot more like twists and turns than I expected. Yeah. I think it's worth a watch if you are interested in it. It's very windy out. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how is it going? Today is Tuesday the 17th. Um, I was off today, which is good because started my period. I wasn't feeling horrible, but I definitely felt kind of icky. I spent the morning just kind of laying in bed, editing videos. It is thundering outside, even though it is bright. Typical Florida. Um, and then I went to our little gym here in the neighborhood and just rode the stationary bike for almost an hour. Worked up a big sweat, let me tell you. <laughs> it was good though. Um, had some lunch and then I just filmed this look and I filmed my ranking my top 10 highlights video. Both of those should both be up on my Instagram and YouTube channel by the time this vlog goes up. Uh, tonight we're going to go Halloween decor hunting. I didn't think we were going to do anything tonight. I just didn't have anything planned, but I convinced Zane to drive to Jacksonville with me after he gets off work at five so we can visit at home and old time pottery. And I wanna go to Christmas tree shops. I'd never heard of that place before. The closest one to us is in Jacksonville, um, but they have a lot of Halloween stuff and it's supposed to be really affordable. And they also have this like pastel Halloween collection, which is not my vibe for Halloween at all, but I wanna collect a bunch of it for springtime next year. I wanna get a bunch of pink stuff for Valentine's day and like pastel spooky stuff for spring. That would be so cute. I don't really decorate a ton for spring. I decorate a little for Valentine's Day, but I definitely want to collect like this pastel spooky stuff to take it to the next level. And I think the pastel just spooky stuff would be so cute in the spring and it would give me something to decorate for. And I'm super excited. I'm probably going to collect a lot if they have that collection in stock. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be fun. I haven't visited the Jacksonville at home in probably a month now. So I'm hoping that it will have expanded a lot because if you've been watching these vlogs, you know, Jacksonville has been a lot better than Orlando. Um, so hopefully Jacksonville will be really good right now. We will just have to see. I'm very excited. Got my spooky attire on. I got this sweater from Shein. I don't buy a ton from them. They're not my favorite place to shop through, but once in a while, there's some things that catch my eye. They have jeans that actually fit me. I have a hard time finding jeans since I'm tall and I don't know, it's just hard to find things that fit comfortable. I don't know how to explain it. I have a hard time shopping for pants. So yeah, anyways, that was a random tangent. Uh, it's about, what time is it now? 3.30? I guess I'll probably just edit videos a little bit more and then make some dinner so we can have just a quick dinner and run out the door when Zane gets off. Um, I'm super excited. Obviously, I'll take you along to see if there's anything new. If there's nothing new, I won't really show you because I've already shown you. Um, but I'm sure there will be at least something new. So I will show you what I see. And then when I get home, I will show you what I got. <laughs> I think I also saw a TikTok that Christmas tree shops just has a lot of pumpkin-y food. Like, I don't know, random pancake mixes and coffee syrups and just like random things, but pumpkin. And I'm going to buy a ton of that as well. I'm super pumped. Okay. I will catch you later when we go Halloween decor hunting. I'm so excited. I did not have this plan today and I'm just pumped. <laughs> Got various ground steak things. There's a black cat on the other side of his name. It's cute. Lots of fall, right when you walk in the store. Obviously I'm looking more so for Halloween, but I'll just give you a quick glimpse of all the fall. Lots of pumpkins. There's literally so much fall here. It's insane. I've never been to one of these stores before. This one in particular is a Christmas tree shop slash all and that or something like that. <laughs> Halloween and toys. <laughs> Got lots of things. I'm gonna do a quick overview with you and then I'm gonna tear it apart. Yes, they have the pastels. I'm gonna collect so much of this for spring. Oh my gosh, it's really cute. And I could definitely see like this being like one of your aesthetics. I mean, probably more than one of you, but like some of you would probably eat this up year round. Oh, I'm gonna love that in the spring. Here's more like regular 
It's so cute, I can't take it. It was super cool there, very affordable stuff. I think the most expensive thing there was $12. Uh, most of the things were in the like $5 and less zone. Uh, we bought a lot, but a good chunk of it was thinking about the future for pink things for Valentine's Day and the pastel things for spring. We got some stuff just for this time of year as well. Um, obviously, I'll show you everything when we get home, but it was really cool in there. They didn't have any of the pumpkin food that I saw on TikTok. Because TikTok, there was like a whole like, like row of just yeah. pumpkin food. That would have been really cool to see, but they didn't have any of that. Um, but they had a lot of the stuff, so that was really successful. We're going to at home now, and then we're going to go to Old Time Pottery, and then we're going to go home. Uh, so I'll show you what new things I find in those stores. Um, if everything's just the same that I've already seen and I've already shown you, then I'm not going to film it again. But if there's anything new. Thank you, Wes. I'll show you if there's anything new. That was the end of that story. <laughs> We're actually at Old Time Pottery first before at home. Um, we got some hangy dudes, some skelly boys, some mermaids, <laughs> clown dude, <laughs> little scary dead baby looking thing. A bag of bones. I think these guys might be newer. These steak things. He's kind of cute. Little dinosaurs. <laughs> Got these little guys. These look new. These guys were already here, but these guys are new. Have some stuff filling over here. Got some spooky books. A book with the hat on it. These ghosts are cute. Got some lanterns, some pails, big skulls, more skulls, some potion bottles, candelabras, baby Yoda. Don't know if these tombstones were here last time. So there's some new stuff. Most of it's the same though. There wasn't really anything screaming at us in there. They are already putting up holiday stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. That's okay. It was still fun just to look. We've already gotten a lot from there. We got a lot when they first put out stuff because they had stuff first. Um, but now we're going to go to at home and see what they have now. Got stuff expanding. This really cool mirror. More skulls, huge candles. These candles are really, really cool. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. I was hoping they would have these in stock. I wanted these for my house so bad. They're so pretty. Got some dragons down here and stuff. Lots of outdoor things. I haven't collected any outdoor things this year so far. We've been slacking so bad. Most of this looks to be pretty much all the same. There's some cute stuff though. Like this uh, spiderweb table runner is kind of cute. Got lots of pillows. Some of this might be new, some glassware and stuff like that. All right, quick little haul before I go to bed. These are what we got it at home. Got these two pictures. They make a toad one as well, but it wasn't in stock. So hopefully I'll find that at some point. I think we're gonna put these in our bathroom actually. Um, got this cute little outdoor steak. I really like how this kitty looks. Um, two creepy cloths. And then we actually got this one to be Valentine's decor. So this one's going to stay put away for a little while. But it's very cute. All right. In Christmas tree shops, we bought everything. First cinnamon broom of the season. It smells delectable. We got this nutcracker because I mentioned before, we're going to turn our bedroom into like a Halloween nightmare before Christmas extravaganza once the holidays start. Um, so that room's just gonna stay purely Halloween. So we got this nutcracker for that. Uh, got this cute little pink skull with the tiara for Valentine's Day slash spring. Um, we actually needed parchment paper for our little Halloween get together we're gonna have this weekend. So we found that and it's really cute. Got this cutie, I don't know exactly where he's gonna go. Got these cute little bowls for the little get together this weekend, so they were only like a dollar. Got these bedazzled, bejeweled skulls for springtime. Got this really cute lantern. I love it. And this little candle set for now as well. And it glows yellow. They're so cute. Got this sign for springtime, but this sign for probably all the time, honestly. Got this one for springtime as well. Maybe Valentine's Day too, but definitely spring. Got four of these little votives. They had a couple of different colors, but we liked the orange. 
Got this one for Valentine's Day slash spring. And same with these cuties with the flowers on them. Got these little jack-o'-lanterns just for now, for fun. And got these little Ouija candles that are LED for year round most likely. And got these little pastel skull musicians. They're very cute. My cats are freaking out. Um, those will go out during springtime as well as these three candles. We probably won't light these. We'll just keep them looking cute. And then look at the tombstones. They're so cute. I actually had an idea months ago because I have little bunnies and stuff that I'll put out in the springtime. Just like cute little things. I don't really celebrate Easter, but I like the bunnies and stuff. And I was like, it'd be funny if I did like a bunny graveyard. And now I can do that. <laughs> it's going to be so cute. Oh, and we got this cute little guy as well. So yeah. Quite a lot of, uh, what was it called, Christmas tree shops, but we were buying for a couple different reasons, so I'm excited. Nice little haul here, and a lot of this decor is actually going to go upstairs in the loft because our loft isn't really decorated yet. It only has uh, some blankets and pillows, so it'll be cute to have some Halloween up there. Our new console table we ordered off Amazon came in, and we started decorating this little area. It's looking cute. I have some pictures that I know I want to buy to put up here. I might put a really cool mirror right here. I haven't voiced this out loud to you, Zane, but a big mirror here might look kind of good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to turn this into like the little village area. And then this is a shelf and technically that's a shelf down there too. I don't know exactly what's going to go there um, just yet, but I'm liking what it's looking like so far. It's very cute. And we got a cinnamon broom right there. And started just adding some cuteness in the loft. I know I need to peel some of these tags off. Um, I'm gonna have to have Zane help me. I literally cannot do it with nails. Um, but I just kind of did a little round looking kind of situation. It's pretty cute. It's coming together, nothing too crazy. I thought I was gonna start on these, but I really wanna wait until we have some more shelves on the walls to put the little plushes so I can just decorate both tables at the same time. Um, so until then, we have this, and I think it looks pretty cute, especially because the only decorations I had so far up here in the loft were pillows and blankets, so it just kind of adds a little bit of vibe. <laughs> All right, hello, it's a new day, by the way, if you didn't catch that. Um, it's the next day, it's Wednesday the 18th, I just got done filming. I just spent the beginning part of the day just doing chores and errands and things like that. I did some editing, I went and got my massage that I do every month because my back hurts all the time. <laughs> um, and then I just did a little bit of decorating with the stuff we got yesterday. And then I just filmed this look, which will probably be up by the time this vlog goes up on my Instagram. That or it's coming very soon. I'm not positive, but it's almost five now. Let me stand in front of the window so the lighting's a little better. Um, it's almost five now. I'm going to go downstairs and start making dinner. And then tonight, Zane's going to go play cards with some friends and I'm going to go hang out with my friend Ocean. We're going to make bead bracelets and eat s'mores and it's gonna be fun. So yeah, that's my plan for the night. Uh, if I think about it, I will bust out the camera and show you some beads cause Ocean has made some really funny bead bracelets. Uh, so I will show you if I remember, but I might just be in the moment. So um, I'll catch you later. Beading is about to commence while we watch old Rupa. Gucci. We got an authentic Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> Look how cute it is at night. It's all coming together. It looks so good. All right. Hello. Back at it again. Vlogging in my beauty room. Um, I don't even know what today is. I think it's Sunday the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Um, we are having a small Halloween themed little get together today. And I'm so excited if you can't tell. Halloweenified over here. I spent last evening kind of prepping cupcakes and stuff and then this morning I was decorating cupcakes and getting more snacks together so I just filmed so I could get ready for the day and also film some content. So this uh, tutorial should be up on my channel either right before or right after this vlog. I'm not quite sure but I'm gonna go downstairs and finish making some food because we technically put it to start in an hour, so I have a little bit more time to finish preparing. And I need to put on real pants because I'm wearing pajama pants right now. But I'm excited to see some of my friends and hang out and eat yummy Halloween treats. I'm excited for you to see what I did. I had a lot of fun making a nice spread for our housewarming small get together a few months back. So it's been a lot of fun making spooky snacks. I'm sure we'll have another Halloween get together closer to Halloween and it's just so cute and fun and cozy. Anyone who gets like 
angry about people decorating early or celebrating things early is just a killjoy. And my house just has such cozy slumber party energy right now and I love it. I'm gonna watch Halloween movies all day and it's gonna be so much fun. So I'm gonna head downstairs and then I will show you what I've done. All right, here's what we're working with. I got it on in the background, of course. Look how cute my charcuterie board is. It's adorable. So cute, I made so many cupcakes. We got Reese's cupcakes. I'm making a meatless, well, fake meat queso right now. Chips, I'm gonna put a dip in there soon. Salsa for the queso that's gonna go in this little thing. We got this as a wedding gift and it's the best. It has like tea lights and it really keeps whatever you put in here super hot. Um, more cupcakes, chips. These brownies are so cute. We got this pan from Joann's. It looks like they baked them really nice. Like they're nice and kind of crispy on the outside, but they're really soft on the inside. More cupcakes. We got lots of drinks. Got some veggies here. I'm going to put a dip in there in a minute. And I'm baking a brie right now, so I'm going to put brie and crackers here. And it's in the cutest little pan that we got. I think at Marshall's. I forgot to show it to you, but it's like a little, literally a brie maker. I mean, it's just like a little dish, so you can bake whatever in it, but it's meant for brie. Uh, so yeah, making this stuff now. Yum. Okay, update on the charcuterie board. Zane found Halloween Oreos, so I added those to the board, and now I feel like it's 5,000 times better. I got the queso chilling in here. The brie is done and cute. <laughs> I think this one. Yeah. Yeah, this one's more fun. Friend just left, Rachel. Rachel, if you watch this, thanks for coming. <laughs> um, I was the worst vlogger today, I know that. Um... I was just in the moment, you know, hanging out with friends, eating snacks, watching all the movies, and it was a lot of fun. Just chill, cozy. Did you have fun, Zane? Yes. I'm exhausted now, just from- We are tired. Socializing and watching movies. It was very chill, but now I'm beat. It's only 9 p.m., but I am so exhausted. So I think we're just gonna settle down and go to bed very soon. I might do a little bit of editing and then go to bed. And then tomorrow we work. It is Monday tomorrow. I don't know when I'll vlog next. Probably not tomorrow because I don't think anything is going on tomorrow, but maybe on Tuesday. And I think I'll probably wrap it up on Tuesday. I'll see you Tuesday. I got the cutest little belated birthday gift from Becca, these little Pennywise candies. Thank you so much, and this card is so stinking cute. I also got sent such a sweet package from Spooky Doodle Club. I'm probably gonna wear this hat today because I had a look in mind that I'm about to film, and I think this will go with it really nicely. And also, this hat is so cute. I'm gonna wear this all the time. Favorite color in the world. And I love this beanie. The death moth is so cute. And then she also sent me 5,000 earrings. So thank you so much. I'm so stoked. Let me show you all of them. Got the red rum. These ones I might wear today actually because they might match really nicely. That's a contender. A little jack-o'-lantern, some gloomy ones, which I do have gloomy ones, but these ones have spider webs. They're very cute. These really cute flower and lilies, the ravens with the moon phases. We got the bones with the lily of the valleys. Got some haunted earrings. These bottle of ghosts are so stinking cute. From dust to dust, these are also a contender for today. These bat hearts are everything. We have these eyes, these really cute little lambs, the poison. I love these little daisies so much, they're so sad. <laughs> And then these skull stumps and little skeletons. I love all of these so much. I'm so stoked. You have to check out her shop if you haven't. I'm so beyond obsessed. And over here is just a little salon center call for my studio. I got some IGK things. I bought this for the salon and myself to try out. It's like a conditioning treatment, shiny top coat, blow dry cream that I've never tried before. And then just the Thirsty Girl shampoo and conditioner. It's good for frizz and just unruly hair. Okay, I'm gonna go film now. All right, hello. Here's my actual face now that I showed you that little haul from earlier. In one mile, turn right on Southwest 63rd Boulevard. It's Tuesday the 24th. I think today's gonna be the last day of this vlog. Uh, this is the look I filmed. It'll be a get ready with me coming soon after this vlog goes up. Um, you excited for a food truck? Mm -hmm. It's called Future Food and they travel around so they come here every so often and as long as we're free, when they come around, we always get it. It's so yummy. 
They sell like good. vegan junk food, chicken sandwiches and stuff like that. It's so you good. Like loaded fries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so yummy. It's so good. And we're gonna go to the movies after and see Free Guy. Cause I'd never heard of it, but Zane wanted to see it. Oh, and it, do, it does look good. I just never heard of it. <laughs> well, we're bracing the storm. I got my movie going blanket. Do you guys bring movies to the bl wait? I almost said, do you guys bring movies to the blanket? <laughs> do you guys bring blankets to the movies with you? I always do. I have no shame. I will walk in there with my blanket. And it's so cozy. There's been some times where I'm cold, but I'm usually not cold. I get cold so easy, so I love having a blanket. Just being able to bundle up. I think last movie I was like, I wish I had a blanket. <laughs> we got all the food. We got the fake crispy chicken sandwich with pickles. We got these vegan chili fries. And we got this vegan barbecue sandwich. Oh, I'm so excited. The movie was super good. Yeah. Very silly, very weird, but had a very good just storyline. Lots of plot points happening, good characters. It was funny. I feel like it's definitely worth a watch. Probably one of the better ones we've seen so far since we got the Regal movie pass. But we're heading home now. I'm exhausted. Um, and I'm going to end this vlog here because I think it might be getting uploaded tomorrow or Thursday. Either way, I'm going to close this vlog. Uh, Zane, what emoji should they leave if they made it to the end? Hmm. Maybe a banana, since you have bananas on your shirt. Banana. <laughs> banana works. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hop over to my Instagram. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.